Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday, so Friday Reads time. I only finished one thing this past week, which was Scott Lynch's Red Seas Under Red Skies, the second Gentleman Bastards book, the follow-up to The Lies of Locke Ramora. Um, I don't know whether you all remember, but I really enjoyed The Lies of Locke Lamora. Um, it started well and then it just turned up the pace and kept running and it was really a fun, fun, fun read. I did not find the second one as engaging. Um, they end up in a pirate, on a pirate ship and I actually really enjoyed the pirate ship part of it because I've got a bit of a soft spot for the whole pirate thing. Um, but... Uh, Actually, I found a lot of it a bit of slow going, which is a bit disappointing because I, um, I've heard such great things from everybody. It may just be that my head wasn't in the right place for this book this week. Um, it's been a bit of an all over the place week for a whole bunch of reasons. So anyway, that's the only one I've finished. I'm still in the middle of uh, finishing up June. And um, at the, I got a, to the library yesterday because I was notified that there was an interlibrary loan waiting for me. And I was a bit excited because I thought it might be the next Alona Andrews, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was probably a bit quick, but I couldn't actually remember if I had anything else outstanding. And this one I had uh, requested so long ago that I'd forgotten. Black Rain by Masuji Ibusi. I'm almost definitely saying that wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember Tara reviewing this and um, me thinking it sounded really interesting. Tara, if that's wrong, Tara from Tarabyte, you let me know. Have you read this? Was this, did I borrow this from the library because you told me I should read it? Anyway, it's still Japanese June, isn't it? So um, the print is really small though, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock it over in June, but um, we'll see how that goes. So that's pretty much it for me for Friday Reads. Um, so I've got time to tell you that if you have not already, you should go and vote for the inaugural Booktube SFF Awards. I'll put all the links in the doobly-doo. Um, I don't know whether uh, all of you guys watching um, are up on this, but the Hugos, which is the big fan SFF Award, is going to be bananas this year. And a bunch of booktubers got together and said, rather than bitching and moaning about that, maybe we should just do our own awards. And um, so they've got together this month of June. Uh, everybody is eligible to nominate. There's four categories to nominate in. Um, it's just for books that were published in 2014. So you can nominate Best Adult Novel, Best YA Novel, Best short work, i.e. under 150 pages, and uh, best graphic. Now, you don't have to nominate in every category. You can nominate up to two works in each category. But if you've just got one thing that you really loved from science fiction or fantasy that was published in 2014, and all you want to do is go and nominate that one thing, feel free to just go and do that. Um, so the nominations close at the end of June, and then they'll um, announce shortlists of what everybody nominated in those categories. And... Um, yeah, look, seriously, everybody everybody should have a go at nominating because we're just trying to figure out what BookTube liked. So you're part of BookTube because you're watching this. You should go and have a nominate too. If you can't remember what you've read that was um, written in 2014, if you've got, got good reads, what you can do is just go to your read books and sort it by publication date and look down and see is there any 2014 books that are science fiction or fantasy and, um, you know, um, if you can't think of anything else, you could nominate Ancillary Sword, which was my favourite book from 2014 in the science fiction fantasy. You know, or no, don't do that. Do whatever you like. But anyway, um, it'd be great for everybody to join in with that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.